All right, practice done. Let's do a run. Let's see uh, how we do. Hey, Mikey. She sure did. She sure beat the record. By quite a bit as well. So, uh, yeah, new goal. 2436, here we come. <laughs> I definitely have the uh, capabilities of getting uh, any run, but actually getting it is a little bit more, a little bit more rough. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah. The crazy thing is, uh, I don't know if Lily is still here, but looking at your splits it's, it's without having seen your run, you in a final repository must have been a little bit rough for you, <laughs> like. Compared to your goals, you lost, like, how much? 40 seconds or something? It could have been a... 323. 30 seconds, okay. I can't believe but yeah. <laughs> what the hell got into that okay, not that rough then, but, but a little bit. Of course, of course. I, I completely understand that. <laughs> the nerves at the end of such a run is... They are unbearable almost. I don't know how I clutched it out on, on, in my PB. Can you explain splits, please? I don't get it. Sure. Of course I can. Still shaking during the balcony jump, although I'm consistent at it. I'm, I'm never, like, I'm shaking way more at the platform jump before it, where I drag it halfway out and then jump over it. That one is way more scary to me than the actual balcony jump. Um, but immortality splits is basically a way to help visualize how the run is going. Um, so we split the game up into segments. Uh, my run, I have 50, 51 splits, I think, uh, which correspond to quests. Um, so the first quest is the path to Hogwarts. And it's a, it's the longest split in the entire run. Um, and then once that segment is done, it'll compare to how well I did that specific segment in my PB. Or that's at least what I'm comparing to here. You can also compare against uh, absolute best segments, like how is the absolute best you've done on that segment, or average splits, so how how do you normally do on, on those splits, or average on those sp splits, uh, and so on. Where do you suppose your wife got the poor key that brought us here? A good question. Mirror and yes, uh, but I... And you can name the sections whatever you want, and you can actually have it arbitrarily split whenever you want. You can also customly or manually split if you want to. Uh, like, But we have a software or a script. I should probably say not a software. Uh, that that does it automatically whenever we... Uh... Oh. Uh, ah. No luck. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, but yeah, if I wanted to, I could just split here. Yay. And then, I, oh, uh, that was too early. I, I just can undo the split. Um, we do have an issue, though, that the script doesn't always catch whenever it needs to be updated because we go too fast. And, and there's a little bit of a weird thing where the marker that it checks to be updated doesn't update correctly or something, I think, uh, because we just initiate a loading by doing a flu flame too fast or too early so we have to split manually a few, few times so whenever you see uh, a split name uh, that has an asterisk after it a little star that's a little bit of an indication uh, to me that I need to manually split on that specific split 54 first chest i'm gonna be a bit more pessimistic and uh, 43 66 let's freaking go all right you are up there 
Thank you, sir. It is very clever. It's really nice software. Steady yourself! Reparo! This is a good start. Ah, I forgot about the uh, switching the hotkey for Lumos. Ah, oh, dang it. Why would uh, hopefully I'm uh, enough of a gamer to get it, regardless. That poor key led us here for a reason. We'll see. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out, out of place. And by enough of a gamer, I mean lucky enough to actually get it. Enchanted crystallized stone again. What's this? Prevent I don't remember who it was, but somebody earlier asked if my day has been good, and I just ignored it completely. <laughs> uh, but my day has been really good. I started out playing some uh, some disc golf. Uh, went okay. Nothing amazing, but but solid and steady. Had one hole that went terrible. That was you. Okay. I thought thought as much, but I, I didn't want to call out names. Um. And then I went uh, south over the uh, German border to buy some, some cheap uh, sodas and, and candy and stuff, because we can. And then I came home and watched some Tour de France with an insanely uh, hectic and action-filled stage, which was super exciting. And now we're here. Here we are. Playing Hogwarts Legacy. Here we are. <laughs> so yeah, overall, really good day. Really cannot complain. The last time this fort was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds. <laughs> In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until Okay, well we're guessing 37. 42. Close. Oh, you were even closer. Good, good call. Good call. Must be a good day if you went to Germany. <laughs> the thing is, in Denmark, we have uh, kind of like high taxes on, on sugar and, and stuff. What do you suppose we should be looking for? So if you have enough stuff that you want to buy, it it can usually uh, it's it's usually worth it. And then close the door. Wait. <laughs> Professor, it <clears throat> was certainly unexpected. And from where uh, we played disc golf, uh, it's only a thirty-minute drive, so it's definitely worth it. Revelio, perhaps. You save so much by driving over the border. <laughs> a revealing charm. No time like the it makes sense though, Mikey. Let's see what we're missing. I think. Ready your wand and focus. It is a way to to help people Ready. eat more healthy. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Us Brits need used to be able to pop over to France and do the same. Then Brexit happens. Oh yeah, well, you guys got fucked. <laughs> symbol again. Horrible package for thirty cents. Well, how big is is the package? <laughs> you know, is it one of the small, tiny ones or a massive one? You know. Then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. How many grams? Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will. Hey, Brexit. Didn't vote for it. Uh, I feel like a lot of people didn't vote for it. 200 grams for 30 cents? That's insane. Le insanely cheap. Wow. Well, yeah, we, we're getting fucked in Denmark then. Not out of Gringotts. Here. 
Even for the border shops, that, that would be insanely cheap. That glow again. I prefer chips. That's fair. Everybody to to their own. What happened? I like Haribo and for gums, gummy, gummy things. Are you all right? Those are my preferred ones, but I my favorite favorite kind of snack slash candy is uh, is chocolate. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. All right, let's see how much of a gamer we are today. Lumo. Not much of a gamer, apparently. Now the <laughs> we often drive to Germany to get stuff there. Uh, seems that everybody wanted to drive to Germany. <laughs> Look out! Seriously thinking about moving to Ireland? Makes sense, but... I think there would be a lot of maybe slightly unforeseen consequences for you that I don't know about. Okay, not the best RNG here. That's not too bad. One more. We take that. Okay, that's a good, good save. That could have been way worse. Way worse. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This 22! I didn't even know they went that low. What the fuck? That's where they leave. What's happening? The wisps of magic. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight what? out of here. Potato. Have you ever seen it that low, Lily? Because I sure haven't. I think my lowest ever was 23, actually, now that I think about it. And even then I was like, what the fuck? Stupid one. Potato. Stupid one. Oh, bullshit, I pressed Q. You know, yeah, 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 I know, but like it, it gives the same as the other two. Like it gives the same range as the other two. So, like, that was kind of bullshit. Oh, whatever. I know lots of people buy beer here. Yeah, yeah, we do too. Except I have already had quite a a little bit of a stash so I don't need to buy more especially because I actually don't drink that look beer that often at least not on my own since I'm a lonely gamer boy that don't often have people over I don't actually drink that much beer <laughs> come we have a sorting ceremony to get to 31 or 27 maybe yeah yeah exactly i kind of thought for a while that the lowest you could potentially get because of that was like 25 that would make sense uh yes yes we do but not on the beer that we buy in germany because it's like uh export exported and then there's no uh fun done it only on the stuff we actually buy in Denmark. And we can only redeem it in Denmark. So all of the cans that we buy in Germany, we just 
crush and uh, throw out or try to recycle through like metal recycling system. So that's okay. Fourteen fifty, that's okay. The thing is, there's no German fund on the stuff that we buy at the uh, border shops. But I always uh, like sort out, sort my trash, so it, it should get I'm no expert, but uh, reused. It should get reused. Appropriate. Hey, Dix. Thanks for the good luck. Of course. Welcome to the stream. Thank you, Phineas Nigellus. Professor Weasley. Ah. You belong in right. It's not much different, but the strong alcoholic beverages are a big difference. Also, we put gas in our cars over there. That makes sense as well. When I lived uh, closer to the border than I do now, I always also sometimes did that. Looks like everyone's gone. But, but it's actually not that much cheaper. So. I suppose some introductions yeah. are in order. Deep breath. I'm not sure. Only getting two dear calls. <laughs> Why? How? What? I'm confused. Hey there. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. Dude, run. It's not only that they get slower, but I think they also get less consistent, the fights. Unless you have really good, like, offensive power already. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about... Dude, dude, move. What the fuck? I'm I'm not thinking about the uh ancient magic. Oh, you only okay, I see, I see, I see. You only uh you, cast you have less ancient magic too, I think, right? Or one. Keep your eyes open for more opportunities. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna bother with that. <laughs> At least not right now. That seems like too risky of a potential time save that I'm not even sure is there. I feel like the run is heavy enough on the RNG already. <laughs> Good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. I don't know. It might save time. Kind of hard to test properly. And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Oh, well, that's fair. I'm quite consistent at that, so... It's not really a problem for me. Perfect. And yeah, of course you can do level ones as well. I didn't think about that. That makes sense. Uh, 
game. Yeah. You have convinced me. Actually, it uh, it makes sense. Oh, I forgot about the uh, F11. Eh, whatever. Protego. Muscle memory taking over. Levioso. <laughs> now, let's try something. Let us begin with a basic cast. I noticed it was that you can fly to lock up your own helm. Oh, yeah. Cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember. I think that's been known for quite a while. I do that too. Very good. <laughs> the best way. This should be easy. Potato. Potato. Complicated. Good form. I know. Good damn it. Not bad. Nice work. Hi. Till next time. Fucking ominous. Nice That could be nice. That is not bad. Oh, sorry, sorry. I thought it. I thought it was a different. I did not know that actually. Uh, doing helm. I I thought I was thinking of uh, Lord Gork's loyalty for some reason. Oh, not Lord Gork's loyalty. Uh, the meat quest. It's all gobbledygook. My bad. I'm stupid. <laughs> Clear? Yes, sir. But yeah, that would be super nice if we could do that. Yeah. Would definitely be worth like messing around with to see if there is a time where if you menu he teleports. But yeah, as of right now, doesn't look good. That is how it's done. Akio. I don't think it would save fully 30 seconds because right now I feel like we use the time fairly well by getting some XP and and, and the page. Um but it would definitely save some time. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Okay, I see. Chatter, focus now. You will need it. I'm not gonna be doing that. <laughs> not right now, at least, Dix. Also, hey, Wing, thanks for the good luck. I appreciate it. There we go. Akio. Here we 
Yes! Let's go, Nettie! We can go! That's what I'm saying! Yes! One more, one more, one more. Let's do it, let's do it. Ah. Still good time save. Still good time save. Good, both of you. Oh, 60 seconds for him to run? Never mind. That's a long time. <laughs> we would still have to make our way there, though. But, yeah, it would definitely save some time. And if you could fly, then, yeah, sure. I, I see what you mean. Would save a lot of time. And no death stare. Let's go, Natty. You are lovely. Good start. Good start. Oh, yeah, I need to actually mess around with this a little bit. Because right now it's not really ideal here. What about the room? Still good, though. Yeah, yeah, that is very true. Maybe we should compile a list of stuff like that. So it can actually be tested a little bit more thoroughly. A flying page must be brilliant. Akio. Got it. Good enough. I trust the preliminary. We do need glitch hunters. Like right now, we've we, we've been the glitch hunters ourselves, and like I'm okay at glitch hunting, but not great at all. And I way more prefer to just do runs. Like I'm even I don't even really like just practicing in general. <laughs> I'm really bad at doing that. That's it. Very good. Also, that's a great start. Really good start. Keep in mind, some of that time will go down when uh, when the reroute comes back into place, but yeah. Very good so far. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of... Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient ruins. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Oh, I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas, but that's one of the few times of year. If someone does a list, I can pin it in the channels. <laughs> Not much. That would be a good idea. Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. It's a house thing. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. I guess there is a chance, Mikey, that they introduced new glitches, um, but we're not going to be the one finding those. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's the Forbidden Forest on the left. It's off limits to students, as the name implies. Why is it off limits? Like the two versions are just 
too different. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. Dude, I hate getting stuck on that. Okay, at least we got a good item. Since you're relatively new here. She said that? She knows more about I should just roll through the box. Like, it is just a tad bit slower than the ideal parkour, but it's way more worth it. I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? Yes. You are correct, Immortality, but flap outfit. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got in the bell tower. Hello, Mr. Just money. Yeah. Jimmy. Good bag item, though. And no more butt flap. It is. You are very correct. So a lot of the, like, more general speed tech, like how to fly the broom and how to run across the rain and, and stuff like that. That's definitely useful, but, but glitches, not so much. Uh, why is my voice so rusty right now? Yeah. <laughs> All right, gloves. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so good at calling gloves for some reason. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. Oh, that's a good one. What do you think? I actually do have some of that. It's not candy, but like that medicine candy. A uh, like hard candy to help you with a uh, sore throat. Should probably take a look at that. We're trying to, uh, I should probably grab one of those. What can I do for you today? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Well, hello there. Yes, I know, but I don't have that at the moment. <laughs> Let me guess. You're after something fresh. The other thing I actually have at home. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Slush of whiskey? <laughs> I do actually have that, but I would have to open a brand new bottle and I don't want to do that. An inquiring mind. I feel like there's something cool about having a rusty voice, though. If you're interested, like, it's not hurting or anything. It's just at the rest. like I can hear it. Okay, gloves as well. Well, that's everything. Oh, we'll take that. Yeah, I know, I know. It's just something about opening a bottle that's a little bit ceremonious to me. Like it's actually good whiskey, so I. I want to do it with other people you know it's a it's a bottle i got for my birthday and uh and i know that it's a, a very quality whiskey you know so i i I'd, I'd rather enjoy it than just use it for a sore throat are we weakening him at all keep up Trying to beat him at his own game. Look up. I 
I thought I placed myself well enough. Okay, thank you, Natty. <laughs> Saved my life there. Not the greatest troll fight, but but good enough. But Natty of Ragdoll, yeah, she sometimes does that. Also, she likes to dance, apparently. An Irish chick. <laughs> Good as new. Oh, now I'm not that much of an, a whiskey expert immortality, so I don't actually remember the name of it. But I can try and find it when I have the time and if I remember. One less thing for us a singer to worry about. We were just talking about you. Yeah, yeah, I, I noticed that as well. I noticed that, Dix. You won't be disappointed. That's a sharp and better. I sell even more battle-worthy items. We still need a scarf, though, but we did get a blue hat, which is nice. We got the fat natty. Let's go. That's massive. Is not too busy. You might even meet some not sure what I did, but we got it. <laughs> and a powerful witch. Good one to know. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. That saved this uh, Hogsmeade split for sure. Also, let's fucking go. Okay, that's two out of three. That's amazing. So have that already. Okay. <laughs> A little aggressive there, Natty, but sure. Yeah, this turned from an okay-ish Hawksmead to a great Hawksmead. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I'll let... And a nice time save we have here. That is guaranteed. Keep in mind that we're not actually 45 seconds ahead. We're only like 30 seconds ahead because of the reroute. But. Yeah. We do have 20 plus seconds to save here. So that's nice. Need a good fight though. The 20 seconds is, is is very, very real. That was a good fight. I could never duel like that.
And maybe fast dialogue. No fast dialogue, but it's okay. Nicely done. Levioso. Good one. Levioso. Akio. It, it often is, but the thing is, you only have three um, barrels to throw or three boxes to throw. Yeah. And I only, I mainly use them actually to uh, break shields when Levioso is on cooldown. <laughs> the same thing here. Both of them on cooldown, so I use a box to throw instead. Akio is off cooldown. Now I can technically use that there. Okay, that was a little chaotic, but it worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I have seen your fight, Dix. It makes a lot of sense. But I've definitely gotten accustomed to the way I do it. Yeah, useless. Assignment. Oh, that's interesting. Did not know that. I trust Mr. Brattleby. With... But I don't know if, if it actually saves a whole lot more time. Steady. Like, if I execute my fight correctly, they never hit me. And if they attack me, I just use P Perfect Potato to hit them or break their shield. So, I, I don't know. I don't think it makes that much of a difference. Ah, there you are. I think it's more of a... Uh, so... Personal preference thing. I don't know. What are you up to now? That was not what I wanted to do, but sure. <laughs> oh, perfect. Finally, a good actual pattern here. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to be using Livioso anyway. Not right now, at least. The key. Here it is. That wasn't so difficult after all. How to find that book? Ghost. Yo! Code V with the prime sub. Oh my god, she turned around so fast there. Kofi, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is Ravenclaw House the fastest? Yes, it is. Uh, and that's because there is a house specific quest where the house specific quest for Ravenclaw is the fastest. Simple as that. <laughs> I'm gonna keep that.
Probably scripting them all would make them go better and more consistent, though. Yeah. Now, where has that damned poltergeist got to? Just the spell to repair. And some of them I definitely have kind of scripted, at least for myself. Um, but there's definitely still room for optimization. Of course, that's it. Uh, fuck. There must be more to this one. Yo, Ricky, it is indeed a fat lead. We love to see it. Hopefully we can uh, hold this lead. Accio. Incendi. Not surprising. Cards are the ready. Designed to join couple of the day for on a whim and one did 20 on full speed. Yo, let's go. Massive. This must be the way forward. Might make some hot dogs now. Sounds good. Sounds good. Nah, it's fine. I'm not too hungry right now anyway. Best keep my wits about me. Yeah, useless. Uh, should just do that. What? <laughs> okay, he died anyway. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It is a book after all. Protego. Decent, not the smoothest. But we'll take it for sure. Good restricted section. Really good restricted section. Oh, we're actually gonna gold? Maybe? <laughs> yeah. That's just how it is when you have a three and a half hour run, you know? Stuff just, just gonna happen. Massive gold there. Honestly, that's huge. Whew. That for sure is one of the more uh, scary sections done. At least for the early game. Still need some better offensive gear like Scarf. You a single Scarf would go a long way. See what I can find out. Sir, I was able to search the restricted section. Oh, they are the same. <laughs> it was a book we were after. Yeah. Um. Hi. Oh. Be surprised. What's the difference between? Gold and PB. Um, so gold means that that is the best I've ever done that segment. Well, that split. So I've never done restricted section faster than I did this run. This cannot possibly be as difficult. <laughs> Which is obviously a very, very good feeling. Protego. <laughs> Possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harper, and it might be best to do so outside of It was very smooth. I'm especially happy that I noticed the uh, second ghost now, run, turning around so I could follow and actually go for the, uh, the second drop down. Dude, what the fuck? Please, Leander. Thank you. Hello. Always a little scary. 
Hawks need the other day. If he's not there. Nice work in defense against the dark arts. Oh, Michael Gore. Excuse me. And he's good. <laughs> Here we are. Hope. Let's go, he's out here. Massive. And scarf. Ah, dang it. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. And she's in a good position here. A pretty good decision position. Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Bam. All right, Gareth. Please be a darling and let me uh, actually through here. Ah, never lucky. Okay, curse why were you down there? That's kind of weird. And free of clutter. Proficiency in potions are two things that cannot. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Okay, that's an upgrade. It's not the scarf that I wanted, but uh, it's better than nothing. What happened? We like it. <laughs> what now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. <clears throat> That'll be points from Gryffindor again. Did you see the clip? Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw the clip. What happened was that for some reason it did the stumble animation uh, off of the off of the latch, which was what turned me around in the first place. And the thing is, by holding the direction I was holding and then jumping. I could never do anything other than save it. <laughs> like it was always going to do the the 180 jump and 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 get back onto the ledge, but it just felt very nerve wracking. <laughs> but yeah, looking back at it, it was always going to work. Oh, of course. God damn it, Natty. You as well. Well, be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Protego. I've no idea who it is you think. Incendio. It was a funny moment, that's for sure. All right, time to learn how to count to ten. You guys ready? Count dodges with me. One, two dodges. Three dodges. Four dodges. Five, six dodges. Seven dodges. 
Eight, nine dodges. Ten dodges. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Fifty-six dodges. <laughs> I've never been accosted in such a manner. Since you guys are good at counting. Well done. I'm proud of you. Let's see if you counted as correctly as I did. It's just over there. Hey, it worked. Nice. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you. That's fine. I have the money. It is a tough skill to uh, to master. Now. Place the mallow sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. My word! Did you see that? Incendio. What should the flames make the pyre hmm. sink? This is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Huh. They didn't open up the menu. Interesting. What a day! I can hardly believe it. Hmm? And do be careful of. Yeah. Pretty decent so far. Quite happy with how this run is going. Quite happy indeed. Okay, game. You've given me two deaths there so far. Give me a fast map here, please. I'd like to talk to you about it. God damn it! Never lucky. Hogsmeade, here I come. It's actually more like bouldering, I'd say. Oops. Yeah, that's fine. Ooh, that was fast. That was really good. That was such a good climb. Let's go. That was super fast. Scarf. Ah, uh, never lucky. It must be upstairs amongst the owls. Ah. Don't mind me, owls. I'm just here to help a friend. Where are those statues? I recognize those empty perches. Could be the right size for jackdaws. All statues of jackdaws. What's happening? Yeah, that's a gold. Not surprised at all. Not surprised at all. That was really, really good. <laughs> you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented. Uh. 
Yes! Let's fucking go. Oh, that's so important. That is honestly just so fucking important. Aside from the bird bath, anything else I should look for? Indeed. A few landmarks, a stone bridge, a waterfall, and Perfect. if I recall, a lake. I always like to take a little bit. Okay, I overdid a little bit there, but I like to make sure that he follows me close enough. The waterfall. For a thief, Jackdaw surprisingly as good as his word. I really love this little segment of, of running through the forest. Some cool navigation of the terrain that I kind of enjoy. Such regal creatures, Stags. There it is, Intramuros. <laughs> I think that was good. Did he die? He died. Let's go. Super clean. Very nice. I wonder how big this place is. And even an upgrade for my gloves. Not a massive upgrade, but an upgrade nonetheless. That must be where all this leads. And then that's a massive one. Someone didn't want casual visit. I wonder if any of my spells will help me through this. So can I. It's a good thing Jack Dool didn't fall down there. Incendio. Ooh, that was smooth. <laughs> sight. Hmm, but I may as well. There it is. Barely managed to catch it, which was perfect. More spiders. This can't be what the hell is going down. I also love implementing that little strat there, using uh, Levios on Scurrier to instantly kill it. I must be getting closer to Jackdaw's remains and those pages. We meet again, Richard Jackdaw. Yeah, never lucky. <laughs> he says as he got it last run. Okay, that's really good. At least I can take the pages. Here it is. The map. Oh, I can't even wear it. God damn it. Hmm. Is there something beyond this room? Incendio. 
smooth. This fight's going amazing. Like, really freaking good. Holy moly, what a fight. That's insane. This could also be a gold, honestly. Of course, I now get that. What's <laughs> happening? I've seen this before in Gringotts and the restricted section. Where am I? Oh no, the room's starting to flood. How am I being protected? What sort of magic is this? I can only hope this magic protects me until I'm able to make my way out of here. What is this place? And delete and delete and delete and delete. <laughs> stupid hat. Let's get rid of that. Because it looks stupid. Can it be? Pages and the map. This is such an insanely fast start. I really hope I don't butcher this. I'm back at Hogwarts. I wonder when Professor yeah. Fogg will be back. I did promise him I wouldn't neglect my studies while he was away. Suppose I have enough to distract myself with till he returns with the book. One o four o five, Jack. Though, I think that is a world record. I think that's a Ravenclaw map chamber. Fuck, I forgot. <laughs> 